Hey guys, what's up? Remember when I said the next thing that we're probably going to be doing is arranging the shelf to get the Wonder Woman up there properly because all those are still on the shelf. They're still right there and they actually need to be moved right here. That's not what we're doing today because I went to this magical store called Walgreens and found something amazing. And we're going to check it out. That's right, so you heard right. As ridiculous as it is, I went to Walgreens and found something amazing. Something legitimately cool, something that I literally can't wait to check out, something from Diamond Select Toys. And I gotta admit, I never expected to run into something like this at a Walgreens. That's right. This is a Bruce Lee figure. And it's a good one. It's a legitimate good one. This is a Bruce Lee action figure from Diamond Selects to celebrate the 80th anniversary. And just looking at him, I can tell that he is not a joke. Now I have not, I have not opened this. This is literally happening right now, right here, for me to check this out. I don't know if this is going to end up being cheaper than it actually looks, or if it's gonna be really cool. By the way, I like this box. I like this box a lot, actually. It's, it's very simple, but man, it, it works. Like that background with the yellow and the black streak and everything. But uh, let's see what we're in for here. This is him, of course, in the wrapping, so you can only get so much of an idea as to what he is and everything, but there he is. Now let's open this guy up and let's see what he came with, what he is in general. Ooh, tape. And then we're gonna have tape down here because gotta tape these guys up. Somebody might open him. There we go, all right. Gonna do this step at a time here, so. He comes with a stick, which of course is the bow, which we're referencing, of course, Enter the Dragon, which is, I believe, what this figure is specifically taken from. We're going to put the bow here for right now, and then we're going to go on to mention that he also has a set of nunchucks, which seem fairly bendable. They're just kind of a rubber material. I'm sure you bend them into place and they, they work just fine, so we're going to put that back there as well. He has another set of chucks, which seem to be an action set. It has like an actual whirl right here, like a, like a wind effect, which is kind of cool because I can set him into an action pose where maybe he's like, ah, and he's going to be really cool. So there's that. He comes with a stand. I can't stress this enough, guys. Your figures should come with stands. All of them now. All of them. It's, it's become very much apparent that more adults are buying figures and toys and collectibles than children. Especially when things like the Marvel toys cost $20 a piece, or if you want one Power Ranger, it's going to cost like $25. They should come with stands, because every single one of us is trying to put these things on shelves, or in front of the computer, or something of that nature, and there's only so much that we can do without a stand. It's a pain in the ass to not have a stand. Okay. We have hands. We have interchangeable hands. That's going to be good because these little hands, it is never going to not see my face to show that hand. Oh, it did. It did. That's pretty cool because it actually, it actually is that signature handheld that he does. It comes with a fist. So each hand has a grip, which is on the actual figure, so it's just a closed standard G.I. Joe hand to hold the staff and everything. He's got a fist, and he's got that cool fucking relaxed state that he would normally stand in, which specifically, um, not to go into too much, but the reason for that relaxed state was that you should not actually be tightening 
or tensing until the exact moment that you impact. And so relaxation, open, having your hands open, this is true in boxing too, is to have your hands slightly open and then to slip in. And as you slip in and bring this hand up to protect and this one comes out, it closes about right here and then tightens up to make that hit because relaxed movement flows faster than stiff movement. If you're already got your hands clenched and you're already tight and you, you're trying to hold and you're up here and you're moving around and everything, you slip that out, it's going to slip slower than if it was just a loose hit that goes out, closes. So that that should be, and then not to, not to get into anything, but that's that's really why you saw that. And you often see that with martial arts shows where the guys will stand there and they got their hands open and then they'll take this wild hit or whatever. That's the reason for that is relaxation helps you move better in, in those types of situations. Wow. He's good. He is legitimately good. That is a solid face. That is really decent muscle build. The pants are nice. The ankles stick out a bit and are a little bit funny to me. Oh, but they turn. The feet turn. So let's take a look at him, shall we? This is him right here. And as you can see, like I said, solid face and everything like that. I'll do a camera cut back to him so you can really get a, get a feel for what he looks like. But wow. Oh, man. His arm, that moves all the way up like that. That's really good, actually, because it's going to allow for major action poses. He has an actual elbow joint. He has a turn up here. He has, oh man, yeah, his shoulder moves up. And then there's actually a ball right here, which I'm not sure if that... Wow, that's, that's a lot of range of movement. That's really solid. Like, really, truly impressive. And his feet seem to be the same way. His ankles turn here. They also move up and down across this little pivot here. Uh, his knees, he doesn't have knees, but he still has a hell of a range of motion here. So he can actually get himself up and he can actually do things like the, like the, oh yeah, there you go. See, if he wasn't able to pull off that kick, that side standing actual kick right there, which of course I'm not messing with it too much right now. This is, this is solid. Very solid. Oh, okay. It, it, it's, on a, it's on a bit of a rotator in here, so it kind of pivots back and forth inside. Solid figure. Very solid. Not only was he solid, he was 15 bucks. He was 15 bucks at a Walgreens. Wow. I've been a huge fan of Bruce Lee for years. Huge. It has shaped a major portion of my life to read his books and watch his movies and that philosophy that he lays down and his will to live and experience life and go for what you want is something that you can adapt to any lifestyle that you have chosen to live legitimately. He is a literal inspiration. A, a, he was a living legend in his time. And to have something like this, I know it's simple, and I know that it may even be goofy, but this is really cool to be able to put on my shelf. This is my third Bruce Lee figure so far. And he is going to look real nice up there when we get him a spot. In fact, I may even put him over at my computer and have him stand where he's in plain view all the time. Very solid figure, very impressive find. If you're looking for this, I don't know any kind of exclusivity, but I found him at Walgreens. So, uh, I make it a habit. Every time I go into one of those shops, like a CVS or whatever, I just go over to the toys because you never know what's there. And I found some pretty cool stuff randomly at places like CVS and whatnot when I'm not actually looking for something. And this was definitely one of those times that I never expected to come by something so cool. But there it is. New Bruce Lee for the shelf. Get out of here.
I have spoken. Take what you will from it. <laughs>